The Twin Valley Locker Room Show takes us inside Clay Center Tiger Wrestling. The Twin Valley Locker Room Show is powered by Pulse Internet. All your devices, one superior connection. We're joined by the head coach of the Tiger Wrestling Program, Brandon Pigorsch, coming off of a really good weekend at Beloit. Let's start there. I know we had a chance to talk on the air during our halftime uh, this week. You're proud and happy with what the guys are doing right now. Absolutely. The, the team went into a tough two-day tournament and, and battled. They uh, um, won some really good matches. We lost some tough ones as well. Um, but, you know, in the end, we looked at a lot of positive things that we were able to take away from, from that tournament and, and see that we have some potential coming up here in the next month. Um, lots of good individual performances. You know, we had five medalists, which is the most we've had um, in recent years. Um, we were able to have a freshman come away with a medal in Brett Loader. Um, and then we were able to have two guys make the finals um, in Keegan McDonald and Rhett Coppice. So I uh, didn't have any champs, which was kind of disappointing. Um, but, but I think it was a good, um, you know, lesson for those kids that lost in the finals to see, you know, where they're at and one, um, see that they still have work to do. So uh, overall, the team wrestled well. Logan McDonald um, had, some, had a good tournament, um, you know, was able to come away with a medal. And then Garrett Calabota. Man, he, he battled a lot um, there on Saturday, had two overtime wins, wow. and then was in two um, closely contested matches that he was, uh, you know, he lost in decisions, but man, his, his weight was tough in that weekend. So coming out of that weekend with a medal for him, and just probably what he gained over that weekend was positive. Five medal winners, as you mentioned, and that's without Parker Tholstrup. He had to sit out with injury. So you've got some guys state ranked, and I know it's just a ranking, but it's nice for the guys to get that recognition, I think, and your team in the top ten right now in 4A. Yeah, we've been kind of floating in there within the rankings. So um, kids have been wrestling hard. And, you know, just ranking something that, you know, some notoriety. People are noticing you. Um, and we've had some kids that have been in there. And, and we have some kids that are really close to breaking into the top six. Um, you know, so I, I like our chances um, with a lot of the kids that we have. And we have some growing to do still. But, yeah, getting ranked is awesome. February is here this weekend. You guys will be wrestling, but I mention that because you're peaking, it appears, and trending at the right direction going toward the postseason, which will be here before we know it. Right. Yeah, um, you know, that's the goal. You know, you try to not wrestle your best in November or December or January. You want to wrestle your best in the you know, middle to end of February. And, um, you know, it seems that that's where we're going. We just got to keep guys healthy, um, you know, for this last push and, and just keep you know, fine-tuning and fixing some small things. Good tune-up for the postseason at Beloit. It's a two-day tournament. It's a big tournament, a lot of wrestlers. I say that because the guys get a, a feel for what regional Friday, Saturday, state Friday, Saturday will feel like. It's a long two days to be around and to kind of keep yourself occupied and then to still be ready to go take the mat. Yeah, it was a good experience for the younger guys and then, you know, the older guys getting back into that kind of a routine and, and that situation is good. And that's how the rest of our season is kind of built. We have, uh, we're going two days this coming weekend at Baldwin. The following weekend's a two-day tournament at Rose Hill. Um, and then we just get some time off to hit the two-day regional. So The Baldwin uh, Invitational was scheduled for Saturday. It's become a bit unique as a makeup. You guys are going to get to uh, wrestle some duels on Friday, too. Yeah, we had Harrington Tournament canceled, so we're going to make up some points uh, that Friday going to wrestle in a kind of a mixer with six te It's us and five other teams, so there's six teams that are going to just split up and wrestle a couple duels each. and. Um, a team from Arkansas will be there, so that'll be exciting to see some new competition. Well, it's been a great start for the Tigers on, on the wrestling mat. It's been a great year for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I know this guy's not a Chiefs fan, but we got to go there. Sure, Super sure. Bowl 54 is on the way. Who are you rooting for Sunday? Um, you know, I know it, you're a Chief. You don't like the Chiefs. I, I don't, um, but it would be <laughs> nice. You know, I, I do like an AFC West team in the Raiders, so if the AFC West was able to represent and win, it, it would be good. Um, and, and not just that, but for Kansas City, you know, sure. sports there would be great for them. So what's the favorite Super Bowl snack that uh, will be uh, that you're going to go after first? Um, it'll probably be some kind of dip. My wife will make okay. some kind of dip that will be awesome, so that's probably what we'll do. And do you have a prediction on the score? Um, it's, I, I, I think it's going to be decided within in the 30s. So I'm, I'm picking, let's go 38 34. Be a good one. And that's Chiefs winning, right? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Raiders fancy. Sure. Why not? Well, it'll be a good way to relax after uh, the weekend in Baldwin. And, and good luck to you guys. And uh, we'll talk again very soon. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Coach Brandon Pagorsch with us on the Twin Valley Locker Room Show.